Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to this video. We're going to talk about the do while loop. I have a bunch of code here from previous videos. Because the do while loop is usually used for different purposes than the while loop and the for loop, I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff and we're just going to start from scratch with a new program, a new idea, and new levels of excitement. <laughs> you definitely need to check out our sponsor though before we get started, which is Embarcadero. Rad Studio. Rad Studio is the IDE of choice for C++ development. Quickly build native, mobile, and desktop applications from a single C++ code base and deploy to Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. With Rad Studio, user interface design has been made easy with hundreds of pre-built components for cross-platform development. You can easily integrate with popular source control management systems, databases, APIs, and you can make your life easier with numerous third-party extensions. Let Rad Studio do the heavy lifting when it comes to C++ development. Give it a go with a free trial by following the link in the description. So what we're going to do with a do while loop is we're actually going to show when it would be useful. So when do you usually use a do while loop? Well, you use a do while loop when you want something to happen at least once. So for example, let's say we're making some kind of application where you have to guess a username or guess a name or guess a password or basically input some value and if it's incorrect, it's going to ask again. But upfront, it's always going to ask at least once. And this is pretty common for applications. You know, when you go on a website and you put in your user information, if you get it incorrect, it asks you again. Similar structure, but it's just gonna be in this text-based console. So nothing too crazy complicated. We're mainly just focusing on how the do while loop works. So the structure for the do while loop is slightly different than the other loops and the other control flow structures. So pay attention here. We're going to say do, and then put the curly braces. And I'm gonna get rid of this comment here and this return zero is, into, is uh, implicit, so I'm gonna get rid of that as well. So we put the curly braces first and then we say while and put the, the parentheses and end it with a semicolon. This is actually required. If you don't put it there, you will get a, an error, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, let me put an expression in here. So we'll say while true we compile here, we get an error, it says expected semicolon. So that's good, it reminds us. But on the opposite, the flip side, if you do a normal while loop, like so, and you do put a semicolon there, well, that's actually allowed, but it's not the way a while loop would typically run. So when you compile this, you're going to get a warning, but it's not an error, meaning you can still run your application. What's going to happen is it's going to consider this semicolon to be the loop body, meaning it's just going to run this semicolon forever. What do I mean when I say run a semicolon? Well, a semicolon is just an empty statement, so it's basically just going to do an eternal loop. It's never going to stop, and it's going to break your application. So if I go down here and do an output, like done, like so, and then we compile and run this thing, what's gonna happen is it's just going to run forever. It's never going to get to this done. It's going to hit this while true, and then it's going to be an infinite loop running this empty statement forever. <laughs> so to stop this, hold control and press C. That'll get out of the application and get rid of all this junk. Just make sure you don't forget to put the semicolon here and make sure you don't put it here. <laughs> so very confusing, make sure you get that down. All right, let's get back to what we were doing. Do while. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, uh, we're going to basically have a password, and it's going to be a string. So we're going to set that equal to hello tacos123, which, by the way, is not my YouTube password, just saying. And inside of the do while loop, we're going to guess that password. So we're going to get a standard input and store this inside of a variable called guess. So we'll do it string guess, like so, and we're going to store that in guess. And we're going to do an output to tell the person what to do, like so. And this while true is not what we want because that's going to be a loop that runs forever, an infinite loop. So instead what we want to do is we want to say while their guess is not equal to the password. The loop will keep running as long as these are not equal. So when we compile and run, guess the password, we could say tacos, we could say hello, we could say hello tacos. But as soon as we say hello tacos123, you can see the loop ends. 
So that is how a do while loop works. When you run the application, it's always going to say guess the password at least once. This expression here does not get evaluated until after these two things happen. So even if you do something like while false, well, if you say while false on a normal while loop, it will not execute. But in this situation, it will execute. So when we compile and run, we'll get it to execute at least once. Guess the password if we put something incorrect. It's just done. It hits that false and it's like, no, bro, I'm not running anymore. So that's how a do while loop works. I'm going to go back to that original expression. So we're going to say while guess is not equal to password. And there's a couple other things I wanted to talk about. The first is that we reference this guess variable and this password variable inside of the while expression. The reason we can do that is because we defined the variables outside of the do curly braces. So for example, if we decided to take these and put them inside of the do section, let's say right here, well, what's going to happen is we're going to get a compiling error. And the reason we're going to get a compiling error is because when we define a variable inside of these curly braces, it only exists inside of those curly braces. So as soon as we're done with all these lines of code, this while loop no longer knows what guess is or what password is. So in order to access it outside of these curly braces, we need to, to de declare that variable outside of the curly braces, which is why we take that and we put that up here. So now the scope that these variables are available is within these curly braces, line five to line 13, which does include this section right here. So anywhere inside of these curly braces can access the variable. And this while condition is in fact inside of those curly braces. So that's how it all works. So yeah, nothing too crazy, but that's just a little bit on variable scoping. So that's all I got for you guys for the do while loop. Very fun, very cool. <laughs> probably not going to use it as much as the while loop and the for loop and that's totally okay. You can actually do similar things with the other loops. You just have to rearrange your code a little bit. And sometimes you'll see a little bit of code repetition when you're trying to do something that looks like a do while loop, but you're actually just using a normal while loop. So if you wanted to see that, it looks something like this. You get rid of that do, you take this block of code, cut that and paste it after the while loop. And then you just take this code and you paste it up here like so. So basically we're repeating this section of code and then we're doing the evaluation after. So let's see if this works. Guess the password. <laughs> I was trying to say baloney. Bologna. There we go. All right. And then if we say hello tacos 123, boom, we got it. So often you'll see this structure as well when people are trying to mimic the functionality of a do while loop without actually using a do while loop. Why you would want to do that, I'm not entirely sure. I think it's just partly because some people are not very comfortable with the do while loop structure. So whichever one you want to use, that's up to you. Just don't get fired and my phone is ringing. Okay. Why is Claire calling me right now? Like, why is she calling at all? Hey, hon. 